I asked about Japanese politics or economics. Mm -hmm. I really can't answer anything. Yeah, so. me too. Uh, I should go India. <laughs> <laughs> Rina came here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rina and I'm in Tokyo University of Forest Studies and my major is Hindi. And in my childhood, I used to live in India for four years and this summer I went to India for 10 days. Nice to see you. Okay, so you said Indian students you met were all excellent, right? Yes. Yeah. You said there is the, the educational difference mm -hmm. between Indian students and Japanese students. Mm -hmm. So, tell me about that. Okay, so mainly I thought there's a big difference in three points. And first, I thought that Indian students know a lot about their country. Mm -hmm. For example, when I asked about Japanese politics or economics, mm -hmm. I really can't answer anything. Yeah, so, me too. can you? No. no. So, when I asked Indian students about their politics and economies, they were able to answer specifically, so oh. I was really surprised about it. Mm -hmm. And not just about economics and politicals, they were able to talk about normal Indian culture. Mm -hmm. So, I was really surprised because I really can't talk about Japanese cultures, for example, like dancing or family science, so I thought I should study more about it. Mm. In India, business or politics are more interesting keywords. Mm -hmm. In Japan, I think it's kind of a taboo topic uh, to talk about it. So kind of young people don't talk about it a lot. And also, I think one reason we don't talk about it is because even young people join the politics, mm -hmm. The number of old people mm. are too big, yeah. so even we work, we can't win the number. So yeah. I think that's the reason why we don't talk about it a lot. Uh, so Japanese school teachers are not talking much about politics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they hes hesitate to talk politics or economics. Yeah. And I think maybe Japanese teachers also don't know much about mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's about our own country's future, so I thought we should study more about it and talk to each other more about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And also about the culture. It's our own country's culture, so we should know more about it. <laughs> yes. Difference number one is interest mm -hmm. to social mm -hmm. topics. Yes. Okay. So the second thing is Indian students ask questions. Oh. Ask questions. Ask questions. Okay. This summer when I went to India, I joined this program and in the program we went to many companies and we went to many world heritages. I was surprised that Indian students were asking many questions to the people in the company and to the tour guide. So, but Japanese students weren't asking so much questions. Mm -hmm. So that was a big difference. Oh. I think Indian students are more aggressive to mm -hmm. learning new things. So mm -hmm. I think that's a reason why. Uh, the point you said before, mm -hmm. the first one, they know much about their culture mm -hmm. or politics. Yeah, 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 I think that's connected to... Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, shyness mm -hmm. is not every time bad, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. but in such program, shyness is bad. Mm -hmm. yes. so. Japanese lost the opportunities of know a lot of things. In Japan, like when I'm taking a class in my university, I sometimes ask questions for my grades. It's mm. so not for learning, so that's the big point, I think. Mm. In my opinion, I quite ask questions in front of many people, mm. but sometimes I feel a stranger person. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Again? You? But Shiba, I won't ask about my curiosity. Very good. <laughs> so I should go India. <laughs> For the 
the third point, I think Indian students can think logically. Oh. In Japan, when we study, uh, the teachers give us questions, mm -hmm. and we solve the question by the way that the teacher teaches us, mm -hmm. and like we remember all the answers. Uh, yeah. Remember and just I put the yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But in India, I thought they try to find the problem and try to find to try to solve the problem by themselves. So oh. the education system is a little bit different. Mm. Not given questions. Yes. Ah. And that's very important skills in business, in mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. In the program, I had to build a business model. Mm -hmm. But like Indian students really helped me think logically. <laughs> but Japanese students couldn't give their opinions mm -hmm. and couldn't think logically. Mm -hmm. So we had a hard time. But Indian students were able to do it. So I was surprised and shocked about the difference. Um, so maybe Japanese education education system is not uh, like that. Mm. Memorization. Yes. Well, but when we go to society, it's not like giving problems. Like we are given problems that don't have answers. Mm. So I think that's a skill we need to survive in the society. Yeah. <laughs> Sum up, I think that there are really big difference mm -hmm. between Indian students and Japanese students and I really thought Japanese students have to work hard for the future. Mm. To keep with other countries students. Yes, that was a good learning for me. Mm. Thank you for your time and <laughs> we learned so much. Yeah. Thank you. Please comment other good points of Indian students or why this happened. So thank you for watching. <laughs>